Hey there guys, um, I recently got a uh, video request for a comparison of my Will Zeramano Azrael versus uh, Chris Reeves Benzas. Um, person who requested this is a new YouTuber, uh, you guys might know him, um, he's been buying a lot of really high end knives lately and doing a lot of videos, a lot of unboxings, um, his name is a long how do you pronounce his name? Along at us Parada, Piranha. Um, Along Gatus Piranha. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. It's just I uh, haven't really heard you say it. So um, just wanted to do this comparison video for him uh, since I had all my gear out and everything else like that. Um, figured I might as well throw it up right now. So um, basically. Uh, I'm not super great as far as comparison videos, um, in my mind, um, I'm not the greatest of reviewers in the first place, I just kind of like showing off what I've got. Uh, <clears throat> I try to do the best review that I can, but at the same time, um, you know, I'm not really good at it, I know that, but, um, since he did request it, I figured I'd just throw it out there. Um. Now, Sabenza's, uh, as far as build quality, um, are my favorites. Um, as far as function, smoothness, reliability, um, the cost efficiency of sending it back in to get it refinished if you had to, um, you know, to get it sharpened, to for basically anything. I mean, to throw on a new coating of over your titanium, you know, to make it look brand new again. Uh, you really can't beat thirty-seven dollars to make a blade look brand spanking new, like it had never been touched. Um, Chris Reeve does that for you. Uh, to finish the handles for another thirty-seven fifty, um, it's it's a tough. It's a tough bargain to beat because basically you could use this as much as you want to, as badly as you want to. You could beat it up. Um, you could completely remove all of this finish, all this beautiful finish of the stone wash finishing off of there, and send it back into him uh, into Chris Reeves knives. And for thirty-seven fifty, they will uh, completely finish the blade. For another thirty-seven fifty, they will refinish both handles in this titanium finish that they put on here. That's got good grippiness and uh, just all around, you know, nice-looking tactical gray coloration. Um, so, one, that's what I love about Chris Reeves. Two, uh, Chris Reeves just has very excellent um, ergos to it. Uh, the handle is very comfortable. Um, the steel, the products that are used to make it, um, just all of the fit and finish, the lineup, the detent um, is good detent, uh, very smooth action. So it just brings a lot of joy to me to, you know, any day that you're just having a bad day um, you know, you gotta find the things that'll, you know, bring you up a little bit, that will make you feel good again, and, um, you know, knives have a tendency to do that for me, uh, whether or not if it be purchasing new knives, whether or not if it be just enjoying the look of them, um, you know, uh, taking one and refinishing it, something that's a hundred years old, you know, I've, been doing that with these case knives lately and it just brings a lot of joy to me to be able to do that. Um, the sounds that it makes, I mean I love this little, just it's it's absolute perfection. I mean everything about a Chris Reeves knife is perfection. Um, <clears throat> it's very hard to find anything that's ever wrong with them. Um, you know, so basically what you're getting is you're getting top quality and master craftsmanship in a fairly decently priced package uh... it's i consider them custom semi-custom 
um, even though I know that they are pretty much production. Um, they are all CNC machined and everything else like that. So, uh, when it comes to Will uh, Zermano's knives, um, his Azrael's, uh, I have really taken a liking to these, as you guys know in my previous videos. Um, very, very smooth knives. Um, very solid quality. It's got a very smooth, quiet until, you know, I mean, that is so quiet when it closes, but the detent is good. You know, I can, yes, I can open this up just with a wrist flick, but at the same time, you've got the flipper, you've got the thumb studs, so you can open it pretty much any way that you want to. Um, the materials that he uses, very thick, high quality G10. Um, I mean, just the fit and finish of it is decent. Uh, the fit and finish on this one is superb in comparison to this one. So I'll show you guys a little bit of, you know, some flaws. But I've spoken to Will um, on Blade Forums, and he seems like a really good guy. So I would think that if I was to make a complaint about something like that, uh, you purchasing a knife and the finish coming out this way, I'm sure that he would be more than willing to fix it for you. You know, um, just so long as you probably had to pay the fees to ship it in or something. But, um, you know, I bought these based off of the blade design, off of the ergos that it looks like it would fit in the hand. Um, and I was just absolutely pleased beyond all belief with these knives. Um, his knives come in at an incredibly great price. I mean, two hundred and sixty-five dollars for um, one fifty-four cm blade steel. That's cryoed. Um, this one was Bose heat treated, as you guys can see. So um, <clears throat> can't complain on that. Uh, you got you know thick, thick slabs of titanium. Good pocket clip. This one's actually so sturdy that, you know, it would probably just rip up your pocket. Whereas this one's not as bad. But this one, I mean, I can barely get that out with my thumb prying. That thing's super tight. Um, but it is a great knife. Uh, tactical use, this thing would be very nasty. You know, um, just a super solid. You've got a thick blade steel. Um, very, very great point, um, that's sturdy, even though it comes to a super sharp edge, uh, this thing would be, have no problems piercing clothing as well as flesh, um, you know, for the stabbing motion, you've got a good finger choil, so that would stop your hand from sliding up on the blade. Now, in Chris Reeves' situations, uh, it's... I wouldn't necessarily say that it would be a tactical user. Now, when it comes to um, the Umnumzon, this one I could relate to as it being a little bit more tactical, as it's got a much sharper point. Blade stock is just ever so slightly thicker than the Sabenza, but where it compares to the Zermano Azrael, it doesn't it doesn't hold up I mean there's a huge difference um, the blade length is fairly similar in length uh, the actual cutting edge is almost exactly the same um, but the thumb studs if I were to break this knife in um, I'm sure that I could probably you know flip it open fairly easily uh, they do have these little nice little rubber things that give you good traction but you know Chris Reeve made these so that they're smooth openers and um, they're not necessarily intended to be flicked open um, it's got a good glass breaker right here uh, so the um -num's on definitely stronger material um, it would hold up probably better than a G10 material even though G10 is indestructible but in the same situation uh, let's say my 
uh, strider okay now I can flex this it it'd be very hard to snap it because titanium is you know I mean the toughest metal on the planet but at the same time the G10 does give a little bit of leeway because it is very thin right here so you know that's one concern that I always had about the Sabenzas but at the same or the striders but at the same time that titanium is going to back up the strength of the G10 so I don't think that it's really going anywhere same with the the Azrael um, would I feel more secure if I had to go into a defensive role and actually stab somebody or cut somebody knowing that I had two slabs of titanium in consideration to just one slab that's you know does not have pillars as you guys can see there are no pillars supporting the strength all the way throughout the entire blade until you get to the buttstock so you know is it going to collapse on me no I mean I'm squeezing as hard as I can and that's barely budging um, one problem that I have with this that isn't a problem because this is one thing that I would absolutely love if I had to defend myself is the fact that this as you guys can see I mean I can't budge that it's probably sticky but at the same time I don't care to budge that whatsoever on this one it's a little bit easier it's not as bad um, even if I flick it out really hard it still grabs a little bit but not too bad um, this one still has to be broken in a little bit more than this one has already broken in so but the the absolute lockup on this thing I mean look at that that thing is just it grinds so super solid lockup I would not worry about this thing breaking its lockup on me if I ever had to go into a defensive role. Um, as far as handle length, the Zeramano is a tad bit longer, not by much. Uh, the titanium slabs on the Sabenza are about equal. The, even though it looks like it because it's rounded, the um, titanium I believe is a little bit thicker than on this Abenza. I may be wrong, I could be possibly wrong, but um, at the same time, the blade steel is so much thicker. Uh, as for the tip, I think a Sabenza would hold up probably a little bit better um, than the Zermano, but at the same time, I could use this for more heavy duty tasks. Uh, they both are a hollow grind blade so um, both come to a razor's edge fairly easy to sharpen on both um, even though I haven't used this one all that much I know that this thing sharpens up very easily so um, I did have to sharpen it when I first received it a little bit not much um, and it was very easy uh, I may have to go into a part two of this um, just because I'd like to get a little bit more detail out to you guys and I'm running out of time so look forward to part two.